Today's educational video is going to dive into the powerful and dynamic parallel channel drawing tool. Now you can get to the parallel channel drawing tool from the menu here that says trend line tools. Now, if you expand this menu with a click, you're going to notice that you've got the parallel channel drawing tool right here located before your eyes naturally under channels. Go ahead and click that tool. Now you know you've got it selected because it's lit up blue here. And now what we can do is find a point on the chart where we want to draw this channel. Now the reason why this tool is powerful and dynamic is because you're going to see how it can show you not only a trend, but a channel or a range or a high and a low trend over time. So what I'm, what I'm going to do here in examining this chart of Meta is try to identify since this upward trend started the top and the bottom and see if I can see a very clear and distinct trend. So I'm going to click the top here, move my mouse all the way up to looks like the most recent high. Let's say it's just right around to here. Now that I've clicked twice, I've got a line that's being formed based off of those two points, and I can drag this channel as far as I want. But naturally, what I'm going to do is I am going to find the bottom of this channel and click. So now, as you can see, what I've done here is I've created a channel that has the highs here and the lows here. And they are connected to form this shaded in area to give me an understanding of the range at hand. Now, now that I've drawn the tool as well, I can adjust it, extend it, pull it across the chart as needed, just like that. Now, the reason why I just did that is because I want to see this channel drawing tool into the future. Because after all, I want to do my best research. I want to make sure I have the latest price action within this channel so I can reformat it while still keeping these same important touch points in mind and in play and extend it or move it around as needed just so it fits a bit more in an optimal, optimal manner. Now, this is where things get really fantastic about this tool. And that is the simple fact that what you can do is double click on the parallel channel and now you can do things like extend the channel all the way to the left or extend it all the way to the right. I'm going to talk to you, you know, multiple reasons why you might want to do both. So I'm just going to check extend it all the way to the left. So now it's extending all the way across the chart and extend it all the way across to the right. Now, the reason why you might find this interesting is because now what you can do is zoom out really scale down your chart and try to see if this level has ever come back into play. And it appears that that's just not possible. It's a rather steep channel. You know, it's going to take us into negative numbers at this rate. But if we want to think about a bull case, well, the channel can extend up into the right. So that alone is a very interesting little piece of research that you can do just to remind yourself that if this is the channel that you're choosing to trade, well, it doesn't have any other precedent in history. So it's quite a steep channel, but still we've seen bullish moves take off many times before and really move within their respective channels. So perhaps with this information, we can do what we need, or maybe it's just not exactly the channel you're looking for, so you can delete it and start again. I'm going to double click and turn off the extend of each line because there are some key new features that I want to explain to you. Now, as you can see here, we've got the channel drawn. Now, if I double click on this channel, there are some new capabilities to add lines to the channel. Now, I'm going to focus on the the top line here at negative 0.25 and the bottom line at 1.25. But keep in mind that by default, 0.5 is going to be checked off the box. Now, the best way to really explain what these features are is to talk about what 0.5 means, because if you understand 0.5, you're really just going to understand all of these features here and find immense value in them. All right. 
So if this purple line is the top here of this channel, so the purple line is the top of this channel, I want to make sure I open up the settings menu again. If this purple line appears the top of the channel and this purple line down here is the bottom of the channel, then this 0.5 line is the middle point of the channel. Think of it as the average or just the middle, just the, the price that is perfectly placed in between this top and bottom line so that it is at a point that makes this shaded area equal to this shaded area. There's no difference in the amount of area, difference the amount of area that they take up. It is the 0 0.5 line. So now that you understand the 0 0.5 line and its significance, well, now you can add additional lines onto the channel as you need or lines into the channel as you need. So why is that interesting? Well, for example, in this chart of Meta, in the channel we've drawn, we can see that Meta is currently above the midway point of this channel. So not long ago, it bounced off the very bottom of the channel, came up here, it looks like it was on the midpoint for a while, and now it's back above the midpoint. So that's really interesting. So you might ask yourself, where's the next point of resistance coming? Well, we can open up the tool and we can now put in the 0 0.25 line up here at the top part of the channel. So not the not the midway point, but now the 0 0.25 point. So think about it, think about it like it's half the midway point. Well, if that's the zone that you wish to trade, check it out. Here's your next point of resistance now where things get really great is that you can completely customize this it doesn't have to be the 0 0.25 line it could be the 0 0.1 line it could be the 0 0.8 line the choice is ultimately yours it's a little more complicated probably doesn't make as much sense but the point is you can customize these lines to your exact needs there's no you know magic formula it's about what you want to accomplish and having the tools to do just that. So the 0 0.7 line, 75 line is the same exact thing as the 0 0.25 line. Just now it's located down here at the bottom. Then of course you can even extend the channel with additional points, negative 0 0.25 and 1.25 to add, think of it like another, you know, quarter onto your original channel. Now, the reason why that might be interesting is let's say, for example, Meta suddenly just spiked above this line here, just suddenly spiked above it. Well, you might ask yourself, where's the resistance? And you can essentially draw out the next stage of your channel utilizing the, this negative 0 0.25 or 1.25. We've added on more levels. And keep in mind, the reason why that matters is that these levels are extensions of the original channel that we drew. So this is the parallel drawing tool. And as always, do keep in mind that you can change the colors of these tools as needed. You can customize everything. In fact, you may have noticed that the middle line is this white dashed line, but I'm gonna go ahead and double click. It doesn't have to be a white dashed line. It can actually be a dotted line, or a straight line, a thick line, a thin line. It can be any color that you please. How about we do yellow and let's make it thick and let's make it dotted. The choice is ultimately yours and all of these tools have these capabilities. Another key feature is the background color. Some people may not even want a background color on the channel tool. Others think it's a very important feature to see the area, the shaded area that they are trading or following and you could color it a certain color to keep your mindset a certain way or maybe just a certain color to keep your chart looking really nice and crisp and clean for your exact needs the choice is just essentially totally yours so that is the parallel channel drawing tool now another important key thing to know about this tool is that you can add text as well so if we wanted to say Let's just, you know, watching these levels, you can see the text is now up here. We can make it bold. We can put it up here to the right. We could put it in the center. But the best part is we can place the text actually in the channel itself and really clearly see exactly 
what we want with the text we want to really put the whole picture together. Or if we want, put it down here at the bottom. So these customizations are always fantastic. The bolding features, italics, you know, which, whichever font size you wish, it's all right here. Coordinates are quite important with the ch parallel channel drawing tool because you want to know the coordinates of your parallel channel. Where does it start? Where does it end? And how is it being configured? Well, you can see that right here, 630.25, 735.29. What that means is we know our starting point and our ending point and how the channel is being configured. If we think the number is not to our specifications, for example, 29 is kind of an odd number, maybe we want to do 25 just to adjust it ever so slightly so that the starting point has the same sort of decimal as the ending point. Or perhaps the number is not something that we think is correct because we remember an earnings report or, or some sort. We could type in 600 and just make it an even number. But of course, the parallel channel now has drastically changed. So you have to be careful because it might move it from the original levels that you drew and then there's no more connecting points and it doesn't make as much sense. So let's go back to this 630.25 snaps right back visibility as many of you know by now is just the different time frames that you want to see this on if i uncheck days it's gone but it will still be shown to me on hours minutes seconds so hopefully you understand that many videos on our channel about this tool go check it out but i want to make sure that i end this video with something incredibly important which is the concept that if you right click on the parallel channel you can add alerts on the parallel channel. Now, this is a wonderful feature with this tool. And this feature is fantastic if you believe in these types of trends or channels or ranges. Because once you draw a channel like this to your exact needs, and say you've missed the trade, you don't think it's worth it to get in now. Well, the key thing is that you can right click hit add alert on parallel channel, and then you can create an alert for things like entering the channel, exiting the channel, inside the channel, outside the channel. Now this is really cool because exiting the channel would mean if Meta actually were to say break lower outside of it or break above it, then you would be alerted. I mean, how cool is that? So if you missed it, you wouldn't want to be a part of the channel, or maybe you're waiting for the channel to break because you want to take the opposite side of that break, or you think it signals something, you can get alerted for it. Even better, let's say you have a channel drawn, and Meta's sort of broken through here. Before it even comes back in, you can right-click, add alert, and what you can do, let's make sure we have the channel selected, very important to have the drawing tool selected, you can do entering channel so now you get alerted when it comes back into the channel super important feature to be aware of and really just a great way to get notifications about this channel that you've drawn and that is the power not only of the parallel drawing tool but also of the capability of pairing that with alerts so I hope that this video helped you really get started with the parallel channel drawing tool on TradingView and that you now know all of the critical updates that have come to this tool, the ways you can use it, the advanced features in the settings menu that are now available to you as a member of TradingView. And lastly, the really fantastic ways to pair that with alerts, specifically creating alerts based around the advanced, smart, um, maybe even just simple and concise channel that you've created. So as always, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for tutorials like this all the time. Absolutely make sure you check out our help center for more. And as always, click like and leave us a comment below because your comments, your feedback, your support really helps us keep these videos going. And also, if you ask questions in the comments, we're going to do our best to help you out. We might make a video about them in the future. We could reply to you. We could take your feedback to improve something. Just go ahead and leave us a comment. Thanks for watching.